This exercise is known as the quadruped or the bird dog exercise. And the key with this one is to always start with a neutral spine. Your head isn't looking too far up, but you're also not tucking your head down. So you want to maintain this neutral position. And then this one, you're also going to be working in stages because you got to make sure that you can progress to the next stage when everything is solid. Start with the arms. You're going to lift one arm at one time without rocking your torso. So there should be zero movement and then bringing the arm back down and then you're going to switch to the other side. This is where most people are going to feel that switch, that change, and you want to fight that. And the way to fight that is by stabilizing your core, holding your core nice and tight and bringing it back down. If you can do that one, then you're going to move to the next stage. The next stage is by bringing one leg back up as far as you can. Perfect. And then back back down. And then you're going to switch to the other side. When you do the other side again, you're making sure that your hips are not rocking back and forth and you can do this without moving your body too much and back down. Perfect. And if you can do that without rocking, then you're ready for the next stage. And the last stage is the one that most people have seen before. So you're going to do opposite arm and leg at the same time, lifting, stabilizing your back and your core back down. And then the transition, which is by far the hardest part. Good. And then back down and you're going to repeat this 10 on each side at all stages. So on the arms, you would start with 10 on the left, 10 on the right. And you would do that three separate times in the legs, same thing. And finally, same thing in the, in the full set.